Ever question the safety of common pain relievers? You might want to after hearing about this recent study. Paracetamol, or as some may know it, acetaminophen is a household name. It's the go-to solution for a headache, a fever, or minor aches and pains. It's often looked upon as a safe option, something you can take without a second thought. After all, it's over the counter, right? But our understanding of this common pain reliever is being challenged by a recent study that suggests we may need to rethink how we use this drug. This groundbreaking research was conducted by American scientists who presented their findings at none other than the American Physiological Society's summit. The esteemed gathering of the greatest minds in the field of physiology bore witness to the unveiling of this study, which puts a question mark on the safety of paracetamol. The research, spearheaded by Dr. Gabriela Rivera from the University of California, Davis, shone a spotlight on the impact of safe doses of paracetamol on heart health. The term safe here refers to the doses that we commonly consider harmless, those that fall within the guidelines set by health authorities. But what did this study find that has caused such a stir? Well, according to the research, even these safe doses of paracetamol can affect heart health. That's right, this common pain reliever that's probably sitting in your medicine cabinet right now could potentially harm your heart. It's a revelation that has sent ripples through the scientific community and beyond. It's making us question our long-held beliefs about over-the-counter medications. It's making us wonder, are these drugs as safe as we think they are? So, what did this study actually find? Let's dive in. The study began with two groups of mice. One group was given plain water, while the other group was given water containing the equivalent of an everyday dose of paracetamol for an adult human. This study was methodically designed to evaluate the impact of the commonly used pain reliever, paracetamol, on heart health. The researchers from the University of California, Davis, took an intriguing approach to understand the effects of this over-the-counter medication. Two groups of mice were set up for the experiment. One group was provided with plain water, maintaining their regular diet. The other group, however, had a slight twist in their routine. Their water contained paracetamol in a concentration equivalent to a daily dose of 500 milligrams for an adult human. This dosage is generally considered safe and is often used to alleviate minor aches and pains. The main objective of this setup was to monitor the changes in the heart tissues of both groups. The researchers were particularly interested in the proteins within the heart tissues. Why so? Because proteins are paramount to organ function. Changes in protein levels can be an indicator of how well or not so well an organ is performing its duties. In this case, the heart was the organ of interest. The researchers meticulously examined the heart tissues of both groups of mice. They were on the lookout for any modifications in the protein levels that could indicate changes in heart function. The main goal was to understand whether paracetamol, even at low doses, could potentially disrupt the normal functioning of the heart. The study spanned over seven days during which the mice were closely monitored. The consumption of paracetamol-infused water by one group of mice was carefully regulated to ensure they were ingesting the equivalent of the safe human dose. After seven days, the results were quite revealing. The impact of paracetamol on the heart's health was much more extensive than initially anticipated. But we'll delve into those findings in the next scene. For now, let's remember that even everyday substances can have unexpected effects on our bodies. The mice given paracetamol showed significant changes in protein levels associated with multiple biochemical pathways. Now let's dive into what these changes really mean. Our bodies are a complex network of chemical reactions and interactions and proteins play a pivotal role in virtually all of these processes. When proteins change, it can signal that something is happening on a biochemical level. In this study, after seven days of being given paracetamol, the mice showed not just a few but significant changes in protein levels. These proteins were associated with a myriad of biochemical pathways. So let's break it down. One of the affected areas was energy production. Our hearts, like our muscles, need a constant supply of energy to function. Any changes in the way that energy is produced could potentially have an impact on heart health. Another area of concern was antioxidant use. Antioxidants are like your body's cleanup crew. They help to eliminate potentially harmful substances known as free radicals, which can cause damage to cells. Changes in antioxidant use could mean that the heart is under more stress than usual, potentially leading to long-term damage. 
Lastly, the study found changes in the breakdown of damaged proteins. Normally, our body is very efficient at recycling and removing damaged proteins. However, changes in this process could mean that these damaged proteins are sticking around longer than they should, which could have implications for heart health. All these changes were found in the mice given what's considered a safe dose of paracetamol. Remember, this is not just a change in one or two pathways, but more than 20 different signaling pathways affected. This is significant, and it certainly raises questions about what we thought we knew about the safety of paracetamol. But as we all know, science is about asking questions, and one question that arises from these findings is certainly a big one. But what does this mean for the long-term use of paracetamol? The researchers suggested that long-term use of medium to high doses could lead to heart problems. Now this is a statement that has the potential to change the way we view and consume over-the-counter medications. Imagine this. We often reach for a bottle of paracetamol to soothe that nagging headache or to bring down a fever. It's a common enough practice and we've been told it's safe. But what does this new research tell us? It warns of potential risks associated with the long-term use of paracetamol. Risks like oxidative stress and the accumulation of toxins. Let's break this down a bit. Oxidative stress happens when there's an imbalance between the production of free radicals and the body's ability to counteract their harmful effects. It's like having a party in your body where the guests are causing a ruckus and there's not enough security to keep them in check. Over time, this can lead to various health issues, including heart disease. Then there's the accumulation of toxins. When we consume paracetamol, our bodies break it down and in the process produce certain byproducts. Normally, our bodies can efficiently eliminate these toxins. However, if we're consistently taking medium to high doses of paracetamol, our bodies may struggle to keep up. It's like trying to clean up after that unruly party while it's still going on. Dr. Rivera's cautionary advice? Use paracetamol at the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible duration. It's a reminder to us all that even common over-the-counter medicines should be used wisely and sparingly. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? This study is a wake-up call, a nudge to reconsider our habits and attitudes towards medication. But before we jump to conclusions, it's important to point out one crucial detail. This study was conducted on mice. While the findings are significant, more research is needed before we can fully understand the implications for human health. However, we must remember that this study was conducted on mice. Until further research is conducted, it's best to adhere to the old adage, moderation is key. While these findings are significant, it's important to remember that further research on humans is needed. The results of this study, while startling, are not the final word on the matter. They have opened up a new avenue of exploration, a new line of questioning, and it's on us to continue seeking answers. This study was conducted on mice, and while they are often used in early-stage research, they are not perfect stand-ins for human beings. The way paracetamol affects the proteins in their hearts could be different from how it affects ours. That's why it's essential to replicate these findings in humans before drawing any definitive conclusions. But let's not forget the value of this study. It's like a beacon, highlighting an area that needs attention. It invites further investigation into the long-term effects of paracetamol on our heart health. It encourages us to ask questions, to dig deeper, and to challenge what we thought we knew. Now this isn't a call to throw out your medicine cabinet just yet. It's a reminder to stay informed, to keep abreast of the latest research, and to consult with healthcare professionals before making any changes to your medication regimen. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better equipped you are to make informed decisions about your health. In the grand scheme of things, this research is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. It's a step forward, yes, but there's still a long road ahead. We need more studies, more data, and more perspectives. We need to understand not just the what, but the why and the how. So as we continue to navigate this complex world of medicine and health, let's keep asking questions. Let's keep pushing boundaries. Let's keep striving for a deeper understanding of the things that affect our health. Because only then can we truly make informed decisions and take control of our well-being. In the meantime, consider this. Is the pain relief worth the potential risk to your heart? Remember, the choice is always yours.